Hi folks, Jen or Mer Griffin Online here, and I want to talk to you today about the Inokin Lea uh, vaping system or electronic cigarette. Um, this is a really nice unit, um, comes in some nice packaging, and we'll take a detailed look at that. What I would classify it as, and of course I'm a nerd, so sometimes I look for a discrete small system. I've looked at the vaults, I've looked at the um, Piper Saturn and Egos and Tornadoes. Um, this to me is sort of like a uh, pen style, the old pen style system. Um, it's very discreet. It's got a big enough battery to last. It's a tank system, so I don't have to mess with little stuff. And it's a slightly different tank system than we've seen before. Um, we'll look at some of the details. I have two units in here. I have a beautiful matte red, one which is very pretty and then what they call dim gray. I got them from Tom at whitestagvapor.com and again, his customer support has also been excellent. My original unit was missing the uh, little stretchy charger um, that comes with the Leia and he nicely sent, when I ordered my extra battery and some more cartridges, he sent the replacement one and an extra one. So, great customer service. Um, the only down point to opening this is that it takes quite a bit to pull the cap off. Um, what you have in the cap, and we'll take a detailed look at this, is the battery, 650 milliamp hour, the tank atomizer, and the small tank cartridges that are going here. They're kind of small, they don't hold a lot of juice, but it's easy to take a whole bunch in your pocket. And it does actually have excellent vapor for a small unit. Not bad flavor, it's a little muted, it's a tank to my stance on those, but for the vapor and the convenience, um, this is a great unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging that the Inokin Lea comes in. It's a very nice sturdy box and it slides open to reveal your Lea on a nice velvet top with the obligatory tiny poorly written instructions. Underneath that top velvet piece is an accessories box and a cartridges box. Inside the accessories box is the uh, extendable um, USB to mini USB cable and the wall adapter for that. So you can plug it into your computer or into the wall to charge the battery or to use it as pass-through. Inside the other little box are five empty Leia tank cartridges. And we'll take a look at those in more detail. Onto the pen unit itself. It's a very nice finish. It has a pen clip, some writing on it. Now the cap on the end of the battery actually unscrews and every time I do this I drop it so I know I'm going to lose that sooner or later. But there is the mini USB to charge that battery or to charge it while you're using it so it acts as sort of a pseudo pass through. And then that end screws back on and you have a solid unit again. It takes take a little effort to pull it apart. And inside you see the tank atomizer and the tank cartridge itself. Now the tank atomizer is a standard 510 connection, however as you see that is somewhat recessed, that connector on the battery itself, so to use it with everything might take an adapter, but you should be able to plug other 510 atomizers or cartomizers into that battery, which is not true of the Bode Leo, L-E-O. Now these are the little cartridges themselves, this one is filled, it has a nice silicon cap. Um, I have not had any leaking problems with it so far, which has not been true of the uh, Ego T or the Piper Saturn. The battery has an indicator that lights up when you activate it. It will light up, it will also turn off if you click it three times in rapid succession. You will turn it off, clicking it on three times again turns it back on. And then it will go red, yellow, green to indicate it's activated again. That button will also indicate how much charge you have. If it's green, you have a lot of charge, yellow, minimal charge, red, you're starting to need to charge it again, which is a nice feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to fill the little tank cartridges. I'll cut the plastic open on one, pop one out. Um, little tabs on the end there, so it's rather easy to take that silicone cap off, which is sort of pre-sliced 
into square so that it's easy for the inside of the tank to puncture that opening and not make it much looser. I'm going to go ahead and drip some juice in here. Now it does not hold very much. I've been getting 14 to 18 drops in there depending on the bottle of course. It depends on the size of the drop itself. That's probably a mil. Maybe 1.2 mil at the most. I don't fill it all the way to the top. I leave a little room for that silicon connector so it doesn't spill out. Pop that connector top back in and you are ready to go. Now these have been safe in my pocket like this with just that little end on it. So that's my look at the details on the Inokin Leah uh, tank system. These atomizers for being standard are pretty good. Um, they output a lot of vapor. Um, it is a 510 connection, so you could put another atomizer or a cardamizer in here and still make use of the closing top to stick it in your pocket. And I'm a good geek, so you know, if there's something always in my pocket protector, why not have an electronic cigarette in there too? Um, you can't beat having a pass-through, although I know that I'm going to lose these little end screw caps because every time I take one off, I drop it. That's just going to be gone or someday. But if you're looking for a discreet portable that lasts longer than say the little bolts or the truly mini e-cigs and you're looking for something a little different than the uh, Eco T tank this Inokin Leah is a nice option.